Hey guys, we're going to be comparing the web browser performance between the iPhone 5S on the left and the Nexus 5 on the right. I am using the stock browsers here, so that's Safari on the iPhone and Google Chrome on the Nexus 5. If you guys want me to test out another browser on either device, let me know in the comments. I'll see which one is the most popular and I'll make another video. I've turned off preloading of websites on both browsers. I've cleared the caches, I've cleared the cookies and the history. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to start off with The Verge here. I'll try and hit these as accurately as I can. And we're off. Nexus 5 is first to display something, but the iPhone definitely looked like it displayed more quicker. We'll watch this again in slow motion just to try and get a better view of it because it was really tight. And there you go, the Nexus 5 definitely gets the Verge sign on there, followed by the iPhone 5S, but the 5S does display more of the page first. In terms of when they actually finish, well, even in slow motion, it's kind of hard to tell. They finish at pretty much the exact same time there. Let's go ahead and load up the full site now. And they're off. Let's see what happens here. Nexus 5 looks like it's in the lead, but they look like they actually displayed that at pretty much identical times. We'll look at this one again in slow motion. The, the Verge is a heavy website, so let's see what happens here. So we've got a white page on the Nexus 5. Start to display content at exactly the same time, although it looks like the Nexus 5 does have a little bit more content loaded. And the iPhone 5S has finished, followed by the Nexus 5. So it was really tight there, but the iPhone 5S did just finish in front. And we really are talking tight here because this is in slow motion. Performance wise, I was really impressed with both of these devices. Pinch to zoom, very responsive on both. I couldn't tell much apart. Scrolling is faster on Android. You can see I had to flick more on the iPhone 5S. But yeah, excellent performance here from both browsers. Really impressive stuff. Load up an article here. iPhone 5S definitely displayed the information first there, but very quickly followed by the Nexus 5. Really, both these devices are really fast, and you can see performance is excellent on both. You can see the double tap is pretty much identical as well. Yeah. Load up Engadget. Nexus 5 definitely first there. And it has finished first as well. So right now, these two devices are nip and tuck. It really is close. Next up we got Android Community. Again, both showing something at exactly the same time, but the Nexus 5 did have the text first, but the iPhone 5S did finish fully first, so very close again. BBC homepage, let's see what happens here. Yeah, again, the iPhone 5S, just the little hair in front of the Nexus 5, we'll hit continue, see what happens. Pretty much identical, nothing to tell between them there. Let's load up the full site, see if there's any difference. You can just see how quick it is to scroll on the Nexus 5. Both of these are just super fast. I could not tell any difference there. Lastly, we'll load up the full site on Amazon.co.uk. And again, they're just stupidly fast from both of these devices. Thought I'd finish off the video by checking out a few benchmarks. So we're going to run Sun Spider. This is a JavaScript benchmark. Let's see how they do. Lower numbers are better in this benchmark. So let's see what happens here. I have sped this up a little bit. iPhone 5S finishes first and scores 420.3. A pretty damn good score right there. Nexus 5 is definitely behind on this test and scores... 664.3, so it is a little bit slower in terms of the JavaScript performance, at least in the stock browsers. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in screen size and what that means. You can see they're both zoomed out to their normal distance and you can just easily read the text on the Nexus 5, whereas you can't see it on the iPhone 5S. So you're going to be zooming around the page a lot more on the iPhone 5S due to it having a smaller display. Just take a note of the Nexus 5's resizing animation. It's pretty smooth, but it's not as smooth as when the iPhone 5S runs it. You can see it's just getting through it a little bit quicker. So the Chrome browser does still have a little bit to go. And here are the results. So you can see the iPhone 5S scores 3,540. The Nexus 5 scores 2,892. So definitely behind a little bit. I ran these tests again. You can see it pretty much scored the same thing. Just a little bit higher on the Nexus 5, but pretty much in the same ballpark. Now the iPhone 5S browser is superior to 99% of phone browsers. The Nexus 5 browser is superior to 96% of phone browsers. So in terms of this test, the iPhone 5S did win. In terms of the benchmarks, actually, the iPhone 5S 
did win. In terms of real world performance, they were pretty much identical. There really isn't that much to tell between them. Both are incredibly fast. If you're asking me which one I prefer to web browse on, it would be the Nexus 5 just because of the screen. It's a larger screen and it does make quite a big difference. The experience is just more enjoyable on a larger screen. You don't have to keep pinching and zooming all the time to read some text. The Nexus 5 also has a higher resolution screen and some people say they can't notice the difference, but I can. I can see that the Nexus 5 is a sharper display. It just looks better in my opinion. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.